So I'm walking down 95th, whatever, finna catch the bus. It's cold as hell, and out the corner of my eye, I see a group of niggas coming. One of them, bout yay high, fresh ass kicks on, and a voice as loud as thunder say, Hey yo ma, let me holla at you. And of course, almost as if his voice was made of glue, I, I stop dead in my tracks, turn around, and finally take a good look at him. I mean, he eyed, I guess, but it's still cold. And it's getting late. And I ain't really trying to talk to nobody for real. But, but he say he ain't trying to hear all that. He trying to talk to me, see what's up with me. If I got a man, if I got a Facebook, do I stay around here? Can he take me shopping? And I'm like, damn, damn nigga, nigga, I'm just trying to get home. And I already been out here too long, cause the cold starting to feel like it's piercing my skin. And the only thing standing between me and my bus is his thirsty ass. But he still ain't done. He say, he don't really do this too much. But he saw my pretty ass walking. And just knew he had to shoot his shot. Alright, nigga, you can shut up now. Cause I already know everything your unoriginal ass gon' say. Your mouth will become a rapid fire of, for real. I'm just trying to, let me get you. Give me, give me, give me. You nigga so greedy. Know you do this all the time. Know you probably got hella bodies piling up on every street you be on. You don't just shoot your shot. Your body is a walking storm of gunfire. A constant showering of bullets. And now you mad? Cause we ain't trying to get caught up in the crossfire. Oh well, boo hoo. I'm sick of having to deal with He say, there is an art to shooting your shot. Say, even when you miss, if you just keep shooting, you are bound to hit something. Say, what is a black girl's body if not a bullseye? Me and all my sisters that never made it onto the bus ride home got made into spillage left in the street. Something for niggas to walk over. Something for mama's. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. You know who this is and you know what you just saw because you looked at it, you clicked on a video. So I'm going to get right to it and give the black male side of that same story. So I was at a party years ago or whatever because, oh, whatever, it's so specific, right? And an older lady started flirting and I realized later she wanted me to hit that night. But at the time, she wasn't outright saying what she wanted and she was older, so I refrained from jumping, jumping to conclusions or whatever because I heard older women were bolder. So was I supposed to even know that her old ass was flirting or whatever? No, see, black women taught me not to assume that, and I mean never. So when I tell you that she got mad and called me a name, I already know your answer. It depends on which gender you support, deciding the direction of your banter. If you support dudes, you're like, yeah, she wanted you to read her mind and know what she's thinking. If you support the pink team, you're like, no, nah, you just dumb as hell or you scared and nigga, that's why your breath be stinking. But allow me to remind you that frankly, it ain't my job to be psychic and it ain't no man's job at all, whether you hate it or you like it. And it ain't our job to take no old bitch and validate her just because she needs it. If it ain't your job to give us the pussy and ass and titties just because we fiending. Whatever you don't owe, we don't owe. And frankly, we owe less since you're the one so hard to please and we're not and you enjoy causing men stress or whatever, which was actually proven in the study. So when he comes to you with his Tims on and says, hey, yo, ma, the issue is him hollering at his ma, not the issue that you thought. If he was famous, you wouldn't have written that poem like he just abused you. If he was 50 Cent, you'd have been bragging about getting gangster rappers to choose you. All three of you wanted to bring attention to rare women who get shot for voicing rejection. All three of you ignored the tension most men suffer from your unfair standards of selection as you move your goalpost and blame one man for what a completely different kind of man did and then swear to God that you're the victim when in fact you're just perpetrating this sin. To hell with guys who re react with violence when you're not interested. They're putting the penis price at a minus in which no woman has ever invested because we never made them do it. No matter how horny she gets, no matter how much she needs dick, no woman has ever had to think about how she'll get a hold of it. She's worried about how she's going to get a bag and not about how she'll get sex. We're worried about if we're paying you more for less than your very worst ex, despite the fact that pussy's out there among half the population and then some, and money is so hard to get or else it wouldn't be money. 
So don't judge his approach, bitch, go approach him. Fear not the public rejection and roasting. Any insecurity is so unattractive, your game and authority might be what's lacking. We men are guilty for being too easy. Our sin is the real definition of sleazy. We didn't give you enough to go through, so now I have to recite these bars to show you. You're so strong and independent. Approach us, come on then, scary, isn't it? You can't face that chance you'll lose, but you're not too busy to judge his shoes. But let you spend one year behind bars. You'll be the one approaching the male guards. Married or single, polygamy's fine in because all you need is a penis to slide in. And even right now, you want the same guy, so I have to voice this community sedition. You'll chase them down and we know why. You only want a dick when there's competition. So while you judging some fictitious dude who did your job for you, you're actually approaching a much rarer dude and I had to write this to show you. It's okay when these dudes reject you, when these dudes reject you, because some simp somewhere is going to select you to make up for what you gave away for free. You got to hide the real you so we don't see. You need to know the following facts. They lie. It wasn't us holding you back. Feminism was designed to split blacks. You're losing because of the way that you act. Your blackness ain't why we're jumping ship. We like your natural hair and your lips. No one else has your body type. Without makeup, you glow just right. We're not driving you away from us. You're driving us away from you. When our parents got tired of the back of the bus, they were together versus you know who. So how do you fix yourself if you decide? You got to understand we're both traumatized. We didn't start this and neither did you, but we introspect and you must too. We black men know we have to heal. You still think the black boogeyman's real. It takes for you to hate the white man. So hate that terrorist as much as you can. And don't blame us if you can't blame yourselves. We didn't kidnap you and put you on shelves. Massa did that to both of us. So stop acting like blaming us is the must. Look at guys like Jason Roger Poe Chump. Your reaction should have been to throw up. Obviously, that wasn't the real deal. He exposed to us how you truly feel. It will take decades for you to see. The answer came from Shahrazad Ali. Those are decades we just don't have. I guess you're going to give Massa the last laugh.